Hi everyone, this is Apple coming back at you. <laughs> um, I know that I've been gone for a little bit. Um, it is what it is. But okay, so I am back and I want to talk about something that I don't usually talk about on my channel, but I thought it was really, really exciting and really, really interesting, okay? Now, I know a lot of people don't know about this because um, on December 14th, there was like this a big, this big, big, big announcement about net uh, neutrality, right? But everybody knows all about that. But there was another piece of news, uh, I think, really, really big, um, that NASA had made. Now, before I go on and talk about uh, the announcement that NASA had made, like, guys, hang in there because like this is kind of like big news well it's really interesting news okay but i just want to add in something don't you find it interesting how every time like there's there's like this really really big 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 news um there's always like this other big news that kind of suppresses the second piece of important news that happens so often it's insane but yeah I mean, because, like, there was a time when, like, if NASA had an announcement to make, to make like, the, the, at least America would stop and listen, right? Because, like, this is, like, big stuff, like, you know what I mean? And so that just didn't happen this time. We're all talking about net neutrality, and it's like, okay. Okay, so let me just get to it. Okay, <laughs> it's like, I can't even believe it. So anyways, on the 14th of um, December... Um, NASA made a huge announcement and it was actually that there is a solar system out there in the galaxy that is likened to ours. Yes, I'm saying that. Like, it's insane. Okay. So, but the only difference between that solar system and our solar system is that, well, they only have officially found nine planets. There's a sun and there's like nine uh, planets going around just like our solar, our solar system. Okay. Now, um, okay, so the person who I got this news from is actually a scientist who has a connection with NASA, obviously. So I don't know if it was like a slip of the tongue, but he actually mentioned a second planet. Now, I think the reason why the NASA has not a, made that a part of the announcement is because we don't know that much about that ninth planet as of yet but we definitely do know about the eighth one it's called um it's called kepler 90 i okay so it does go from b to h and so now we're like the big announcement is that we we've, we've seen the kepler 90 i now, I also want to say that there's another big piece of news, you guys, okay? Now, as you know, we always hear about Google being a part of this, that, and the other. But would you imagine that Kepler, I mean, <laughs> Google is a part of NASA? Like, seriously working with NASA? I am not joking. Okay. Now, NASA, you know, is like big science scientific business okay so this is like really interesting as well like pretty pretty much matching the news that we found a new planet okay in the kepler uh solar system um which is um we have the kepler uh we have the, the kepler solar um, satellite. We have the Kepler satellite out there, and that brings in so much data, so much data. It's collecting all this, like, oh my god, inundated with data, okay? And it's really hard, it's because it's so much data, it's so hard to find, um, like, that little, one little piece of information that we're looking for, planets, okay? It's just really hard. It's, you know, finding a needle in a haystack. Well, Google created a software to go along with a Kepler satellite, which actually makes finding that needle in the state in the in the haystack a possibility and has done. And that is why we have found these other two planets, one that's not really being talked about, but the other one, uh, Kepler 90i, 
is like it's it's been found it's crazy so that's like the 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 few bits of big news a solar system that's out there that that's like ours that's nuts and then we have like it's so interesting to know and so amazing to know that we have technology now that actually collects data all over the galaxy that's crazy the other thing is is that Google has created a software to work with the Kepler satellite and collect the little tiny itsy bitsy pieces that we need in order to like really know what the heck that Kepler satellite is picking up and showing on paper, okay? Isn't that crazy? Isn't that amazing? Now, like I like I, I mentioned earlier how um, I that big announcement was like crushed down by the the, the net um, neutrality news, okay? And I'm thinking like the government just doesn't want everybody to focus in on what NASA has to say. Why is that? Because, well, all over the internet, people have been tossing around um, possible news, like, is there life outside, the like, inside the galaxy? And possibly now that we know that there's another galaxy, I mean, another solar system that's very close to ours, could it be that there's actually life on in another solar system <laughs> isn't that crazy okay so it's just <laughs> it's really really cool okay so all right this particular scientist that I, I I was listening to he said that there is not a possibility that there's life on other uh, out there in this solar system that we're talking about that's 25 20 was 25,000 light years away like <laughs> that's crazy okay so um, well, okay, so what he said is that um, if it's possible that uh, any living creature could sustain living at a 500 degree Fahrenheit and then also about four, a little over 400, negative 400 uh, below, like if there's any living creature that could sustain that, then okay. Because what he's saying is that Though this galaxy, I mean, not galaxy, but though this solar system is kind of likened to ours, it's not quite the same. Like, the temperatures are all completely off. But how does he really know? Like, how does he really know that? I mean, I wouldn't make that announcement until, like, they really, really know. I mean, okay, so I, let me stick with this. I want to finish my one thought. Okay, there is a, um, a, a creature what is it called? It's called ter it's a Terragot, right? Let me look. Um, uh, tardigrade. Okay, so yeah, there's like this, uh, this creature called a Terragrade, right? And it can actually sustain high temperatures. This is uh, in existence in our, on our planet, okay? Microscopic. And it can actually sustain high temperatures at least up to 500 degrees as hot as our oven gets and it can also um, sustain negative below the coldest you can get right so it's kind of like if that can survive if that if that can exist here on our planet then why can't there be creatures out there that um, can sustain that but I'm not even going there I think that there are there's a planet out there like earth right at least earth in that solar system that can sustain life and oh, maybe they just uh, they live in UFOs <laughs> I don't know like it's it's possible it's possible but the good news is that we're like that much closer you guys from you know for knowing you know what's going on out there like what's possible I think that there are UFOs I think that there are aliens I think that it's real so we're just getting closer and closer to like really figuring this all out and I think that that's an amazing uh, announcement and that goes back from what in the beginning when I was saying that I just don't think that the I think the government came uh, decided to make the news on that day that NASA was going to make an announcement 
because he, the government just doesn't really want people to like no, like if they're going to make the announcement, let's have as few people know about this as possible. Oh, like that's kind of nuts, right? But I heard the news and so have a handful of other people. And now you guys know that there is like seriously a solar system out there that's just like ours. Now, I just want to quickly and I'm going to let you go because I, I don't want to make this video too long. Now, we have, um, okay, so NASA has found other solar systems out there, about 25 of them actually, mm -hmm. but they're nothing remotely close to anything that's like ours, okay? So the ones that they found, I'm like spinning, I'm so excited. <laughs> Um, but the ones that they found, definitely not. I don't think there could be any life on those planets or anything. But this solar system that is just like ours, like there, that could mean that there's life out there. There's other creature life out there, you guys. Like, how amazing is that? I think that that's like utterly cool. Um, some of the things that people are seeing on the internet is that like perhaps this solar system is maybe like the mirror image of ours like you know so it's the reason why we have deja vu or we remember like or or, or like mandela effects or those type of things you know like maybe it's just the other side of the mirror <laughs> But it's just fun to toss around some of these ideas. But anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know that NASA did make an announcement about a, a brand new planet out there. Um, so there's officially eight planets and um, nine because he slipped that out that we don't know that much out. So it's not an official annou announcement, but that eighth one that we just discovered, yeah. So, Yay! All right, mwah, mwah. I'm gonna let you guys go because like I don't want this to be too long. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye. <laughs>